afternoon all. Now this afternoon I thought I'd use this DC to DC buck converter to plot on graph paper the characteristics of this little 10 watt LED. Now recently I've been using this little diagram to show how the voltage across the 10 watt LED and the current flowing through it vary as it approaches this turning point, this elbow point, where it goes from dim to bright. But I'm not sure I've got this quite right because I've shown it as the current gradually lifting off the zero line all the way up to the sort of 9 and 10 volt area. But I'm not sure it does. I think it probably sits on that line for quite some time. So let's actually find out. So here's my graph paper. Now I'm doing volts across the bottom. I've gone from 0 to 12. I don't think I'll be going above 12 volts. And in any case, 12 volts or a little above, actually it's about 13 volts at the moment, will be coming into this buck converter. I'm not going to get much more than about 12 volts out. Um, I've got current running up the left hand side, but I've done it at a 10 to 1 ratio. So amps is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So this is 100 milliamps, 200 milliamps, 300 milliamps. Now these LEDs take about 900 milliamps, so full brightness will be up here, about 0.9. There's one amp and there's my A, actually I suppose it should be I really, uh, name for amps. Now one thing I've got to watch out for is the temperature of the LED. As this gets warmer, the voltage and current characteristics will change and uh, affect my reading. So I've got to make sure the LED stays cool. So what I'm going to do is put it on this whopping great heat sink and uh, now the holes in the lead are 2 mil, and these are threaded M3. So I'm going to have to just stick it on there with a bit of thermal grease and uh, hope that it doesn't move around too much. So let's apply the thermal grease to the back of the LED. That should be enough just to stick it onto the heatsink, I think. Now, this LED came from Shore Electronics, and yes, they're still selling it. There it is, $3.96, 10 watt. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at the data for this. And it is... Uh, well, now this says that the recommended forward current IF is 1.6 amps. That seems awfully high. I thought these 3x3 three three LEDs were around 900 milliamps or 1 amp. And it says here the forward voltage at 1.6 amps is typically 8 volts. I'm not so sure about that. So I've set the current limit, which is going to protect the LED ultimately, to 1 amp. And I've set the voltage to, well, 12 volts, because I don't really mind where the voltage goes as long as the current doesn't go over one amp. So let's just see if the LED works. Well, that's obviously working fine. And we've got about 10 volts there at one amp. That's very interesting. Now the data sheet said that um, at a current of 1.6 amps, we'd have a typical voltage of eight volts. Well, I've set it to eight volts and the current's 20 milliamps. So there's something very wrong with the data sheet. So I'm going to go with my numbers, not the ones from the eBay listing. So let's start at one volt. Well, there we are. One volt, no amps. So my first plot point is there. Okay, let's raise that to two volts. And there are still no amps. And at three volts, zero amps. 4 volts, 0 amps. And in fact, I've taken it all the way up to 7 volts and still got no current flowing. So at the moment, my line is tracking literally along the 0 amp line. Now, if I take it above 7 volts, you can see that the... It's a bit tricky because it goes quite fast, but the um, LED has now come on. And we've got 8 volts, 17 amps. 16 milliamps. Now at 9 volts there's a huge jump to 260 milliamps so that's right up there. So what I'm going to have to do 
is pick some intermediate values to see if I can get the shape of this curve. Now I was just plotting the point for nine and a half volts and then the LED lifted off the heat sink and the number jumped around but that's properly back on the heat sink now and that's 5.4 so let's rub that one out. Now it's still voltage limiting but if I take this up to 10 volts yeah it's still voltage limiting so that's fine we've got 980 let's call it 990 milliamps and if I take it above 10 volts then the yellow light comes in uh, comes on it jumps into current limiting and it's holding me at 9.97 volts and almost exactly one amp and so here's the result my 10 watt LED has a completely flat line up to about 8 volts where it turns quite suddenly and then the current starts shooting up hits 1 amp at almost exactly 10 volts. So my old drawing wasn't quite right because I had the turning point sort of around here. Well I now know that that's at about 8 volts and then uh, this slope is probably not quite as steep as I had it but certainly this line here is completely uh, attached to the uh, to the zero amp line. Now you could say that if it's uh, consuming one amp at 10 volts then the LED at full brightness has a resistance of 10 ohms. Can you say that about LEDs? So here it is, here's my new graph, I've cut it out and this is my accurately plotted graph of voltage versus current for a 10 watt LED.